You'll be up for sale our 2019 on a 69 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is a T6, so the sixth generation of the VW Transporter. This particular van is a T32, meaning it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight. That also means that it is, for tax purposes, classed as a commercial vehicle. So that's very important for any business customers who are watching this looking to purchase the vehicle. Of course, speak to your accountant about that. It's got the 2-litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine producing 150 PS, which is roughly 150 brake horsepower. It's the L1 short wheelbase Highline, which is the spec level. DSG, I meaning it's got the seven-speed DSG automatic gearbox, combi van so combi meaning it's got the factory second row of seats these haven't been added afterwards that came from vw with that second row of seats so what we're going to do is have a little walk around this van we'll have a little look at the spec that you get on a highline combi of this age i'll also talk you through uh, the bits which have been added to this particular example uh, to further enhance it from its factory trim We'll also talk through the ownership, service history, and crucially the condition of this particular example, seeing as it is currently available for sale with us here at Bridge End Van Centre. Finished in deep black pearl. Looking at the rear of the vehicle, just of course trying to weigh up the condition here, having a look at the reflections in the side, in the in the rear of the van here, looking for any ripples or dents or anything like that. I don't know if there's any marks, but I must say it's looking in fantastic condition here at the rear of the vehicle not a tremendous amount i can fault that on there on a highline you do get a, a number of elements which come color coded that includes the door handles all around the bumpers so the rear bumper the front bumper as well and i think as i say finishing that deep black pearl i think it sets it off very very nicely as well it's got a glazed rear tailgate so a tailgate as i say is one door which comes up like so and glazed of course means it has got a rear window coming from factory with the rear window it gives you a rear wiper but also a heated rear window as well which is fantastic in freezing conditions like we've got here at the moment. Something which has been added here then is the nice rear bumper protector, so a carbon fibre effect rear bumper protector there. Of course, nice to have that because it's such a high traffic area in and out of the back of the van. At the top then, we've got also a rear spoiler which has been added, and that just ties in really nicely with some of the other styling which is around the rest of the vehicle. Rear parking sensors come as standard on the Highline as well of course aid you when you're maneuvering the vehicle around but if we open up the back this is where we can start to have a look inside the load area in the back of the van this is where we can see again things are not quite standard in here as well so one thing which has been done to this is it's had full carpet lining on the on the sides on the door uh, there and on the side panel but also a lovely suede roof line you can see there the sort of texture of that feels very very luxurious it certainly adds a nice feel in the back of the van and we've got some nice led uh, lights in there as well led spotlights inside the rear of the tailgate that has also been carpeted just there also in the rear then in the load space we've got the nice hard wearing uh, soft touch rubber floor which is absolutely fantastic it means you can, if you need to crawl in there to grab something it's not going to kill your knees when you do that this is the correct placement of the tool kit and as you can see there's plenty of tie down points in the back of the van as well we'll come around to the rear seats in just a second but condition in there pretty much faultless if we move around then down the passenger side of the vehicle and again this is where we like to look in those reflections you can see there's a beautiful gloss finish to the paintwork and we'll just see if there's anything we can point out there's a couple of tiny little pin dents which i can just see dotted around there i say very very minor i don't know if we can even pick those up in the camera i'll see if i can grab a get a reflection there just to see if i can point those out there see how small that is we will have our uh, paintless dent removal specialist have a look at that there's also one just low down here as well on the side of the door you can just about see that there i say we will have our dent man look at that see if you can improve them it's nothing major nothing to worry about but as i say we like to point out anything that we can see we can also see there's a nice set of sidebars there and a lovely set of roof bars as well and that just ties in again with things like the rear spoiler and the alloy wheels bringing everything together very nicely these are my favorite set of transporter alloy wheels these are the momo revenge 20 inch satin black alloy wheels these are fully load rated with of course load rated tires they're brand new with brand new tires as well i think they just set the van off so so nicely a really gorgeous looking wheel also the vehicle has been lowered front and rear by 40 millimeters which just improves the uh, aesthetic of the vehicle so you can just see you know it's not overly low it's still very much usable but you can see that the wheel just sits that much nicer 
in the wheel arch just there. If we open up the side loading door, uh, first thing to note on the side loading door, of course it is again glazed, so you get a factory opening window there. But looking at the rear seats, this brings us on to a nice factory optional extra, and that this is we've got a two plus a one rear split seating configuration. This offers lots of versatility, it allows you to Full, uh, pick up the seat like so gives you access into the back but you can also remove that seat from that position and you can fold them down using these tabs here uh, on each seat as well you've got isofix compatibility across the rear seats also so perfect as a family vehicle if you're on a tight parking space you can slide this door back you're not having to worry about opening it up into another car and then a lovely height to uh, load a child into here as well and as a nice you know plenty of leg room you can keep an eye on them nice and easily and then of course you've got all that extra space in the back as well so perfect for that um but as i say still classed as a commercial vehicle so very much tax efficient if that is of any use to yourself as well but uh, yeah that is what is so lovely about transporters and, and these types of vans in general is as i say the versatility you've got so you can take those seats out you've got all the usable space of a van if not you can still carry five people or six people in some cases in pure comfort opening up the passenger door then you can see the condition there of the passenger door card all looking very nice same with the step the floor from this angle it's all very very clean and tidy in here Looking at the front seats, this one is set up as a two-seater in the front, so with a nice twin, uh, the captain's chairs, with a nice twin adjustable armrest. You can set those to your desired height using that roller underneath. But you can see the condition of the seats. No rips, tears, cigarette burns, anything like that. It's all in lovely condition here in the front as well. I'll come around to a bit more of the Highline spec when we go around to the driver's side in just a second. But you can also see the carpet line in here continuing onto that side panel and that lovely suede roof lining just there as well now this vehicle is one owner from new uh, i believe owned by a company but they have maintained this vehicle meticulously so we have got a fantastic volkswagen service history with the vehicle uh, with all of the accompanying bills as well uh, only serviced i think most recently uh, around 5,000 miles ago uh, nevertheless we've put this right through our workshop as well uh, before uh, this video and you know before being advertised so we have done the full timing belt kit including the water pump so they're due every four years that's what we're, where we like to see them done so we've had uh, that done in our workshop uh, as they during our preparation we've also conducted a full multi-point health check on the vehicle uh, where they flagged up front and rear brake pads so those have also been changed and we also changed the filters that weren't changed on the last service so the last service that was done with vw uh, was classed as an inter interim service so we have done all of the other filters so we've done the fuel filter uh, air filter pollen filter i believe as well so i say we've been right through it we're very very thorough and fussy here as probably many of you may know if you've watched our videos or dealt with us before so as i say we've been right through it with a nice clean bill of health now as well we've got crucially that uh, peace of mind with the timing belt that's not going to need doing for years to come again looking at the front bumper then looking generally in very good order usual sort of stone chips as you would expect uh you know towards the front bumper same with the bonnet say just a uh, sort of a light peppering of of stone chips here and there we've touched them in of course neatly uh, just in the correct color so as I say they're not going to really get any worse probably the worst one here just on the very edge there that's only very very minor otherwise lovely condition as you can see something else which has been changed then the nice sport line style front uh, splitter which has been added and i think that sets it off so well when you accompany it with some of the other bits here so the lowering the wheels sidebars roof bars i think it sets it off very nicely finally then looking here down the driver's side again just a tiny little pin dent just there again just above my finger again we will have that looked at but say we are talking minor items on this is really not a huge amount to fault it on it's absolutely stunning opening up the driver's door then we can have a look inside here the spec that you get inside a t6 highline combi so inside the driver's door car i often get asked what this is this is a bin so perfect for any paper straws that type of thing on top of the driver's door then electric windows electric heated mirrors you've got auto activated lights and auto activated wipers that all comes as standard twin uh, or just twin should i say two uh remote keys i need to put a smaller ring on there actually uh but yeah two keys both the flip three button uh, keys come with the vehicle leather multifunctioning steering wheel and you can see there's really 
little to no wear on the steering wheel, which was very, very nice to see. You often see the leather uh, almost getting, you know, quite worn there and almost worn through. Um, but this is in still in really, really good condition. On the left-hand side, then, you've got your cruise control settings just there and your volume for the radio. On the right-hand side, then, your onboard computer controls. And you can also uh, skip to the next track, answer the phone, that type of thing as well. Looking into the centre then, 58,316 miles. You can see it's all idling correctly there, no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard. Having the driver's seat, again, lovely condition here, the driver's seat. Twin armrests on this side as well, height adjustability also just there. And if we jump in, we can have a look at a bit more of the spec inside here. So that fantastic DSG automatic gearbox, one of the best gearboxes in any van in my opinion. Air conditioning, heated windscreen, USB port, all of that comes completely as standard. As does on this screen up here then, we've got DAB radio. If we put the vehicle into reverse, that's where your parking sensors are displayed there. Also, there's also an SD card slot and an AUX port there as well. You can see the full leather wallet comes with the vehicle also. So just to summarize, this is a one owner from new 2019 on a 69 plate Volkswagen Transporter Highline DSG Combi T32 150 PS diesel Euro 6 engine. Short wheelbase, finished in deep black pearl. Uh, fantastic Volkswagen service history. Lovely spec, of course, on a Highline as standard, but this has been further enhanced with the uh, carpet lining, with the suede headlining in the rear, lowered by 40 mil. We've got the 20-inch uh, Momo Revenge alloy wheels, side bars, roof bars, rear spoiler, Sportline style front splitter, rear bumper protector. And of course, this one's got the two plus the one seating in the back. But I say, crucially, lovely condition, very well maintained. And I say, only one owner from new as well. And during our preparation, as a timing belt kit has been done, front and rear pads, uh, and as I say, all the other filters which weren't done on the last Volkswagen service. So as a full. Uh, clean bit of health ready to go straight away if you'd like to see the full advert if you haven't seen it already please head over to our website bridgeendvans.co.uk that's where you'll find that advert including the uh, the price the description and the photography of the vehicle we'll welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom left hand side of the sign as well we can arrange delivery nationwide we can also take cars or vans in part exchange and we can arrange finance at very competitive rates whether that be for private individuals or for limited companies thank you very much for watching